Good morning and thanks for joining us. Today we'll take a tour of several great destinations for the family in DFW and learn some safety tips for fun in the sun. But we start with a trip to the people behind sushi for all mankind, Kabuki Japanese restaurant in Dallas. Located right outside of the Galleria Dallas Mall, they pride themselves on turning sushi skeptics into fanatics. Here's Nellie Shudo with a look at some of their beautiful dishes. I'm at Kabuki Restaurant at Galleria Dallas with Ekali, the general manager, who's going to tell us how to order sushi like a pro. I'm a big fan of Asian food and I, I would eat all of this, but I'd love a description of what we have here and what we, you would recommend. Yeah, sure. I'll do a little quick rundown. Uh, so to uh, my right here, we got a different variety of sushi, mm -hmm. ranging from sweet shrimp, Yes, the head is edible, it's deep fried mm -hmm. uh, from our you know, normal salmon and tuna. Uh -huh. In the middle here, we have our sashimi omakase deluxe. And the different variety of sashimi, we got tuna, salmon, sea bass, yellowtail, and albacore. And we got the two rolls right here. Uh, this is our most popular one in our location, mm -hmm. the kabuki, uh, kabuki roll. We got snow crab, yellowtail, salmon, tuna, uh, a little bit of masago, ikra, spicy albacore and spicy tuna. And this is incredible. And yes, this is going to be our dragon roll. We have a California roll as a base. Mm -hmm. On top we have a whole piece of unagi on there, uh, okay. which is freshwater eel. And a little bit of eel sauce. The eyes that you see right there is actually octopus uh, tentacles that we Oh, use. that's really yeah. cool. <laughs> and I like this, for some people who don't necessarily aren't comfortable with raw, mm -hmm. food, this is actually California roll. Yes, and it's the unagi is baked the also. Unagi's baked. Yes, yeah, okay. so they'll be nice. okay with that. Basically, our concept of the restaurant is you don't have to be a sushi lover to dine in with us. A little bit of everything for everybody. Mm -hmm. um, whether it's cooked sushi rolls or you know uh, raw foods. And then, of course, you're known for your fancy cocktails. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tell us about that. Is this the sakurita or? So I have two different cocktails for okay. you today. I have the sake sangria. Uh, uh -huh. This is gonna be the most popular cocktail. Okay. It is available during happy hour. A little bit of mix of uh, soju and sake and we do make it in-house here. We also have this one right here, which is our mint sakurita. Uh, it also has soju and sake mix inside there uh, okay. with mint leaves. And this is good for the summer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try these. Yeah, I'm gonna go try ahead. This one? Okay. That's delicious. A lot of people don't think that kids enjoy sushi, but you have an award-winning kids menu, correct? Yes. This is adorable. That's a fantastic menu for kids. Yeah, so we have a different variety uh, for you know all children. The best thing that I think about our kids' menu is a surprise how big the portion is for a children's menu. For me, as a mom, cocktails and kids' menu is all I need <laughs> to hear, and I'm there. <laughs> Thanks, Nellie. If you'd like to learn more about Kabuki and check out their full menu, visit them online at kabukirestaurants.com. Would you like to spend the day hanging out with movie stars, musicians, and other celebrities? Then Catherine Dunn has the perfect place for you. Just don't expect them to answer many of your questions. Catherine? I'm here with the President of the United States, Donald Trump. So, Mr. Trump, thank you so much for joining us. Mr. Trump? Well, he's not going to talk to us, so let's go chat with Rachel Rotella so we can learn more about the Louise Toussaint Palace of Wax. I'm here with Rachel Rotella, the general manager of Ripley's Attractions. So, Rachel, we're standing in a room full of what appears to be people. Yes. Where are we? We are at Louis Toussaint's Palace of Wax in Grand Prairie. Um, yes, we have a ton of different people standing around us, but they are indeed wax figures. Um, we have different celebrities, historical figures, anywhere from the newest President Donald Trump to old historical uh, figures like all of the presidents of the United States. And Louis Tassad's Palace of Wax has been around for quite a while. So tell us, how has this evolved? Yeah, um, we actually started at this location in Grand Prairie in 1972. It was called the Southwest Historical Wax Museum back then. They just had um, old Western um, items, and they um, that, that building actually burnt down to the ground in about 1989, and they rebuilt this building, which is now a replica of the Taj Mahal in 1990, and we've been here ever since, and we've just kind of evolved and changed and added different elements, and, and it is what it is today. 
And I was looking at this uh, John Cena sculpture here, and the hands are so lifelike. How do they make these sculptures, and how much time goes into that? Um, usually it's about a two to three month process. Um, they actually hand sculpt every single line, every crevice, every single hair that's put into their head is actually individually put into their hair. Every um, eyelash, every eyebrow hair, so you can imagine how long that takes. Wow. So it's about a three month process, usually just to make one wax figure. And lastly, if someone was to come to the Palace of Wax, what would be the one person that you think that they need to definitely see? Right now, Donald Trump is the most popular um, wax figure, um, but I really, really, really love our, we, have, we just opened a brand new superhero gallery, so the kids are going crazy over it. We have every superhero, uh, the Hulk, we have Superman, we have Spider-Man, um, Captain America, and so I think that's probably the most popular right now. All right, well, we'll have to go check it out. <laughs> yes, for sure. The Palace of Wax is open 365 days a year and is just one of the many attractions at Ripley's Believe It or Not. To find out hours, info, and to purchase your tickets, go to ripleys.com slash Grand Prairie. Time to step aside for a quick break, but when we return, we'll head back to Grand Prairie for a look at Lone Star Park. And later on in the show, we'll travel a little south of Dallas for a trip back in time at the Scarborough Renaissance Festival. Keep it here. Today with Candace is brought to you by Best Docs Live. Get well, stay well, live well. What's the difference between bronchitis and pneumonia? Here it is. Bronchitis is inflammation and usually infection of a mild form in the bronchial tubes. It doesn't result in a lot of fluid in the air pockets called the alveoli spaces, but it does result in a lot of bronchial tube inflammation and swelling in mucus, and that's why you, you cough up stuff. Now, pneumonia is a progression from bronchitis whereby the bronchitis, which is mainly an infection of the bronchial tubes, where that gets down into the alveoli air spaces and fluid develops. And that fluid develops, that's pneumonia and it's infected from it, and that's bad. And you'll see it on x-ray, of course, whereas in bronchitis, you won't see it on x-ray. Bronchitis usually does not have fever, and if so, it's very mild. Uh, pneumonia does. Pneumonia, you feel a lot worse, of course, and you tend to get worse and worse, and you may have some chest pain when you take a deep breath. But the biggest difference, again, is inflammation of the bronchial tubes, that's bronchitis, and fluid in the air spaces, that's pneumonia, and needs treatment with antibiotics for sure. Ever wonder why it seems that your child always gets sick in the middle of the night or on a holiday? Or how about at work when you don't have time to make an appointment to see a doctor? And this is my favorite. You go to one of those corner urgent care centers only to be sent home to wait for a call when they can see you hours later. There really never is a good time to get sick. All you want to do is talk to a doctor quick and get relief. Well, that summarizes what Best Docs Live is all about. An online system allowing you to speak to a physician, not a nurse practitioner or physician's assistant, and have the doctor evaluate the situation, make a diagnosis, and if warranted, electronically send a prescription to your neighborhood pharmacy. No hassle, no waiting, no scheduling issues. Just go to bestdocslive.com, follow the easy navigation instructions, and resume your normal activities. So the next time the bug hits you or your family, there's only one thing you need to remember, bestdocslive.com. It was really difficult uh, for my husband and I. I was taking injections twice a day. I was also taking about 17 different supplements. We had to find a way to take the 17 pills and, and how, do you, how do you take that and make it five pills? We narrowed it down to six core principal ingredients to give us the best fertility supplement on the market. There's nothing else, all six, no fluff. Welcome back. 
For 20 years, Lone Star Park at Grand Prairie has been providing exciting horse races and fun-filled events that appeal to race fans and families alike. And this season will be no different. Here's more. Okay. <laughs> I'm a trainer. I'm in charge of, of my barn. We have a, probably about 30 head here and I'm responsible for the day-to-day -day care of the horses. I've been coming to Lone Star Park, I believe this is my maybe 11th season here, and Lone Star's been such a star here in Texas. A, a lot of the horses that you see um, competing at Lone Star Park are um, what we call Texas breads. They've been produced by um, horses that were, where the father stood in Texas and the, and the baby was actually foaled or delivered in the state of Texas. So you see a lot of Texas breads here. Well, there's just nothing better than seeing the horses come thundering down the down the turf and or down the dirt track, and um, just the you know the the thrill of seeing them run. Just expect to have a, a really good time watching world-class athletes compete. Um, not just the horses, but the jockeys. A jockey is probably pound for pound the finest athlete in the world. Not only do you have seating and that sort of thing, but we have the lawn and we have picnic tables and um, the kids come out, they play football and you know, they run around all within the realms of the safety of the horses, obviously, and able to get outside and even set up a, a, a picnic blanket and buy food inside and come out and, and have a picnic and enjoy the horses. Um, in addition to that, um, you know, we have the 4th of July weekend out here. The fireworks are fabulous and it's probably one of the best firework displays in the area um, for the 4th of July. Other than, than just you know coming out and seeing the horses, which to me is the best thing, um, the food here is excellent. You've got the Silks Dining Room if you want to do upscale. The, the concert series they have here is fabulous. My children and I all attend the concerts and they've got big names and those are a lot of fun. Memorial Day weekend, they have the uh, Bark in the Park and that is the wiener dog races and maybe some other breeds as well. That's a lot of fun, the dog races are fabulous. Um, Lone Star also puts on some ostrich races and things like that, camel races throughout the year. Um, all types of different events uh, for families to come out and really enjoy a good time. The live racing season runs through July 30th and Lone Star Park offers a variety of admission packages for individuals and groups. To get more information, see a calendar of events and much more, check out their website at LoneStarPark.com. And if your plans include watching the horse races or other outdoor activities, then you'll want to pay close attention to our next guest. Joining me now to talk about ways to protect yourself in the sun and things to look out for is Dr. Jay Burns. Dr. Burns, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So if you would, start off by telling us about yourself and your experience as a skin care expert. Yeah, well, I grew up here locally in Garland. I'm a plastic surgeon. I've spoken uh, you know, around the country and around the world for lasers and skin care for 30 years. And, um, you know, one of the things I realized that I do a lot of facelifts and surgery. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you turn back the time and you don't pay attention to the skin, then it, it doesn't really work. Kind of so, defeats the purpose. <laughs> yeah, so I, I've, I've uh, had a lot of experience with that. Wonderful. So what are some ways that people can protect themselves? Well, there's some simple ways with broad brimmed hats and just physical protection. But the sunscreen is just that we have now are fantastic. There's two products that you should really use in sunscreen, Parsol or zinc oxide. Okay. What people don't realize is that those are degraded in the sun. So the Parsol has gone in 17 minutes. Zinc oxide is what you need. Oh, wow. And it's a total block. Okay. You put it on every 80 to 90, 80 to 90 minutes and it's really uh, the best protection. So I look for things personally with zinc oxide. That's what I want my patients on. Okay, and now tell us this. Do you need sunscreen just when you're intentionally going out in the sun or just for every day? Right, if you're like me, that's what I remember. But I say, don't do what I do, do what I say. You uh -huh. should wear it, put it on every morning because mm -hmm. I had a patient the other day that was wondering why the spots were coming back on the left side of his face. It's because he drives mm -hmm. in America. In right. Britain, it's the opposite. But you get sun on the left side of your face, you can tell somebody in the country or out of the country if they drive on the right or the left because their left side's always worse. Put it on every day, put it on every 90 minutes. Okay. Yeah. And you brought some great products today. Will you tell us about these? I did. So this is uh, what I like. It's a uh, Elta. It can be 
tinted, women love the tinted mm -hmm. sunscreens, uh, and they can be waterproof or whatever, but they all have zinc oxide in it, and it's what I like. There's others that do as well. There's some pediatric products that also have, but look for that zinc oxide. The other thing is, you've got some things, what if the sun gets past you and into your skin and, and damages the DNA? Mm -hmm. These products right here have antioxidants, and what they do is when sun hits your skin, it produces these kind of evil humors. Mm -hmm. And this uh, product here with, with has antioxidants, vitamin C, E, it absorbs all those evil humors before they can damage the DNA. Okay. So I think it's great to have sunscreen for protection, and then if that fails, uh, 100% then you've got a backup. So you get a good antioxidant and, and a good sunscreen and some physical protection and that's about all you can do in Dallas. Absolutely. Right. Okay, so I have another question for you. Is it true that the SPFs will add up? So if I use, like I, I use this every day, like right. I mentioned, if I use my Ulta and then I also have sunscreen in my makeup that I put on, do you add them up? You can add them up. Okay. And, and so it's mutually helpful. The one thing I would say that, that uh, people don't realize is the amount of sunscreen, they did a study, the amount of sunscreen that people put on actually and what they test for those is one-sixth. We don't put on enough sunscreen. So you put it on heavy, let it absorb. Okay. So you need to put more and then the timing of that, but they do add up. Okay, well, such great information. Right. Thanks so much for you being bet. here, Dr. Burns. You bet. Great to see you. Yeah. And if you'd like to learn more about Dr. Burns and his practice, be sure to visit him online at drjburns.com. Time for a break, but when we return, we get all the details on the Scarborough Renaissance Festival with some special in-studio guests. And still to come, the Octonauts have landed. Learn all about their new exhibit at the Sea Life Grapevine Aquarium. Stay with us. At New Bariatric Center, we offer a comprehensive approach to weight loss. Support for emotional, behavioral, and nutritional changes are emphasized in addition to expert surgical care. One surgery does not fit all. Dr. Hodges and I are both board certified surgeons with proven track records in every type of weight loss surgery. We know this is an important decision and look forward to helping you start your journey. Contact New U Bariatric Center for your consultation today. A new you is waiting. Looking to start your day with the latest in home, health and beauty, and leisure trends in DFW? Then be sure to watch Today with Candace every weekday on KTXC Texas 47. Hosted by me, Candace Kruger, our show will feature fun and informative stories about the people and places who are making DFW a healthier, more beautiful place to live. Today with Candace, weekday mornings at 9 a.m. on KTXD Texas 47. Did you know kids who play outdoors have healthier lungs? Totally. I did. Did you know that boys that play with dolls make better husbands? My son has lots of dolls. But did you know terry cloth diapers breathe better? I did. Mm -hmm. It's totally true. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you know that strollers have the right of way on the sidewalk? Yes. Yep, I did. Did you guys Did know? you know that kids who eat breakfast have higher GPAs? Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah. That's actually what I was going to say. Did you know babies should never touch silver? It's really bad for them. I knew that. Did you guys know that statistically friendly kids have more friends? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's obvious. Did you know most people think they're using the right car seat for their kid, but they're not? Parents who really know it all know for sure that their child is in the right seat at the right age and size. Visit safercar.gov slash the right seat to make sure your child is protected. I'm putting that on my blog. I just put it in mine. One of the best things about springtime in our area is the annual Scarborough Renaissance Festival. Running on Saturdays and Sundays, now through May 29th, the festival is held just 30 minutes south of downtown Dallas in Waxahachie and features a 35-acre recreation of an old English village. Here to tell us more about this wonderful event is Helene Thompson. Helene, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having us here today. Absolutely. So if you would, start off by giving us just an overview of the Scarborough Renaissance Festival. Well, we're a very interactive event, and we have 24 different stages of entertainment. We have things jousting three times a day. We have birds of prey exhibitions, but in addition to that, we also have 200 shops with handmade wares, just wonderful crafts that you're not going to find anywhere else. We also have artisans demonstrating many of those crafts all throughout the festival day. In addition to that, we also have special activities just for the kids. We have a petting zoo. We have a mermaid lagoon that is definitely a fan favorite. Oh, I bet. We also have children's nighting ceremonies 
every day. And so just a lot to see and do. How fun. And every great festival has to have awesome food. Tell us about the Absolutely. food. Absolutely. Our food is something we are very proud of at Scarborough Renaissance Festival. We have the best turkey legs you will ever have in, in your life. We also have um, some amazing non-festival foods, including our own pasta shop, our own bakery. And we also have the largest food on a stick selection in Texas. Awesome. You had me at bakery. Oh, yes. I'm there. It is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and I understand you actually have a demonstration for us today. Is that right? Yes, we do. As I mentioned, we have 24 different stages of nonstop entertainment every day at the festival. And it's comedy. It's sword fighting. It's juggling. It's all kinds of different things. In addition to that, we have awesome dancers. And part of that is our... Wings of Isis star dancers that are here for, to perform for you today. Wonderful. Okay, so, and I understand this is Lynx, correct? Hi, Lynx. Hello. Tell us about your group and what you're going to perform today. We are the Wings of Isis and the star dancers, and today we're going to perform a part of Gin Drums. Great. Can't wait to see it. Thank you. I'll get out of your way. <laughs> You just, you really can't watch that show without having a smile on your face and just a little bounce in your step. And I understand you guys actually do sometimes bring people from the audience on to, to join you. Absolutely. We, we like to have the audience participate. We just like to have a lot of fun and make sure they have fun as well. Love it. Well, thanks again. Great performance. And to see the full schedule for the Scarborough Renaissance Festival and to purchase your tickets, visit them online at srfestival.com. We'll be right back. It was really difficult uh, for my husband and I. I was taking injections twice a day. I was also taking about 17 different supplements. We had to find a way to take the 17 pills and, and how, do you, how do you take that and make it five pills? We narrowed it down to six core principal ingredients to give us the best fertility supplement on the market. There's nothing else, all six, no fluff. Sweetheart, think about your future. Jeff over there did, and just look at him. He saved up, bought a house, he's got a beautiful wife, they even had a fancy pants destination wedding, and oh, oh, they had a baby! Ah! Smart and handsome, ooh, la la. Ah. Now, I've been saving these frames for pictures of my future grandbabies for years, and the shopping sprees on organic clothing and eye telephone cases is not helping you save for a family. Oh, gracious! Look at that! He's a model! <gasps> I bet you he's putting all that money right into a 401k or his baby's college fund. And his teeth are so straight. See how good saving can look at feedthepig.org. Feed the pig. You've messed up your son's haircut. Ma? Do you A, try to fix it? Like it never happened. B, work with what you got. Or C, show solidarity. As a parent, there are no perfect answers. But you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Sure, I 
look cute now, but when my owner lost his job, it was rough. I was living on the street, and one night, me and this Cocker Spaniel got into it so bad, I wound up looking like an ice cream cone. I cried a little bit, but thankfully I got rescued, so I'm running, I'm jumping, all back to my old self, and I'm ready to give unconditional love, even if you put a lampshade on my head. Today with Candace has been brought to you by Best Docs Live. Get well, stay well, live well. Welcome back. The Sea Life Grapevine Aquarium provides visitors with a fascinating look at marine life. And for a limited time, a trip there has gotten even more exciting with the opening of the Ultimate Octonauts Experience. Nellie Shudo has more. <laughs> I'm at the Grapevine Sea Life Aquarium where they've just opened a new exhibit. It's an interactive exhibit featuring the Octonauts, star of the BBC Children's Series. And this is Julie. She is the senior aquarist and she's going to tell us about it. Yes, so here at Sea Life Grapevine you can explore the amazing underwater world of the Octonauts. We feature Quasi, Peso, and Captain Barnacles. So these guys have a mission. It's Explore, Rescue, Protect which matches ours so closely. Ours is Breed, Rescue, Protect. So it's all about conservation. Exactly. Right? Okay, and um, tell us about the exhibit itself. So the exhibit is extremely interactive, which is great for the children. Uh, you can watch videos, you can play games, you can help the octonauts find certain animals, you can sound the octo alert. It's so exciting. Are there any special events coming up that people should know about as far as... So this exhibit is actually here for a limited time, and it is included in the regular ticket price. Okay. What's the age group that this appeals to? So I would say this appeals to all ages. It's really geared towards children, but even adults will learn something from it. So I understand in addition to this, you have a few, um, a few exhibits where you can actually interact with the animals themselves? Well, if you go behind the scenes, you can actually learn more about the animals that we are breeding here. Okay, and what are those animals? So we are breeding stingrays, we are breeding clownfish and seahorses. Okay, and do we get to actually feed them? Do the kids when they come here get to feed them or touch them? So the kids can actually experience touching animals up at our touch tanks, but if you do the behind the scenes tour, you'll get to see and learn about the other animals that we breed. And I see you have a lot of interesting fish in here as well. We um, do. What are some of your favorites? So some of my favorite fish are the panther groupers and the banded pipefish that are right behind us. Okay, and then I saw another fish. Is it a lionfish? It is a lionfish okay. and you can learn about the lionfish from Peso the Octonaut. And how did you come up with this connection with the Octonauts? How did you, it is, it is a BBC series, so how did you form this relationship with them? Right, so we realized that they have a mission that is so similar to ours. We wanted to utilize that since they're such a popular uh, subject. You know, the kids will really relate to it. So we are so excited to have them here to teach our visitors. The Ultimate Octonauts Experience will be at the Sea Life Grapevine Aquarium through the end of the year, so you've got plenty of time to make it out there. You can purchase tickets at visitsealife.com slash grapevine. Well, that's all the time we have for today. I hope you're able to get out and see some of the great attractions we featured on the show. And don't forget to protect your skin while enjoying the outdoors. We'll be back tomorrow and every weekday morning at 9 a.m. with more stories about the local people and places that make DFW great. But if you can't join us, then be sure to set your DVR. And remember to check us out at todaywithcandice.com and follow us on social media. See you next time. Wardrobe for Today with Candace provided by Dillard's, the style of your life.